Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, but you know, the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. We're just going to see what comes up. These are my regular glasses. They're just shaded because I'm outside. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? For around the 10th. For around the 10th. What do we have for around the 10th? We'll see who can copy this background. Got a lot of copycats out there. Can't come up with their own ideas. Sad, really. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups is a happiness, right? Perfected success. So this is happiness. This is a happy, comfortable relationship. Being at ease. It's fulfillment. So there's some sort of, you know, fulfillment here may have something to do with a relationship or a family situation I don't know you can only hope and pray that it comes out on a happy note uh, ten of cups is extreme happiness typically but it's also a ten which is a completion so let's just see what we got to go with that ten of cups <laughs> the star so the star is wish fulfillment right this is a wish being granted this is uh, definitely a blessing so there's some sort of blessing here with the ten of cups and the star card we have a blessing uh, there's some sort of perfect com combination here right I don't want these cards to blow away we do have a perfect com combination of some sort this is guaranteed success uh, somebody's wish is being granted this is extremely happy whatever it is Somebody is going to be happy. Ooh, Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands, this card happens to say oppression, but this is overwhelmed. We may have somebody here that is extremely, extremely overwhelmed. They have too much on their plate. They're trying to carry a heavy burden, uh, trying to prove something. We definitely have somebody that has a lot on their back. Uh... They're trying to do too much. Somebody is trying to do too much. They, this is definitely a, a very, very uh, huge amount. It's like, why? Why are you carrying this? Why are you doing all this? You, there's something that, you just let it go. Somebody needs to let something go to have this happiness by the looks of things. There is wish fulfillment here. Somebody is being blessed because the star is a blessing. Blessed with a relate. Maybe there was a relationship that ended, ended, and this is a blessing in disguise because your wish is coming. Because tens are completions, and this is about. We have two tens. We have three cards. Two of them are tens. This is letting something go that is just baggage. Maybe it's a relationship that you're carrying. Somebody is carrying something that they need to let go of. There's wish fulfillment here. This is a blessing in disguise, perhaps a relation, because tens are endings, okay? I know a lot of people, our other readers, don't want to tell you that, but it is, okay? A ten is a completion, it is, okay? So we have, a, we have the end of something. Maybe it's the end of carrying a burden, because the star is a card of healing. It's a very healing energy. It's a it's guaranteed success. A blessing is coming that leads to guaranteed success and a happy relationship. But you have to let go of the burden that you're carrying or the dead weight or whatever it is. Stop holding on to that. There's an opportunity here, obviously, for great happiness. There's where you can just be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be somebody you're not because on this star card there's nakedness and we've talked about that before. Nakedness is you don't have anything to be ashamed of. You can be you can be yourself, right? So we have an opportunity for a wish fulfillment if somebody can stop uh, trying to hold on to something 
that isn't really serving them. So there's a need to let go of that baggage to have the happiness. But we're talking about the energy for around the 10th. We have somebody here that this is perfected. There's This is like perfect. It's perfect. There's something here that is absolutely perfect. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. We could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The Queen of Swords is very authentic, very truthful. Oh, this is the Queen of Wands, not the Queen of Swords. The Queen, I thought, well, I thought it was the Queen of Swords. But anyways, because I have my hand over it. It is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is very attractive, on fire. Um, looks like, because you have a fire, this is somebody that is on fire. You know, very, very attractive. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I did mention G Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So we have Aquarius with the uh, star card as well. But this is action action being taken this is extremely on fire uh, high confidence growth taking action fearless somebody's wish is about to be granted action somebody is about to take action this is somebody that is very strong very enthusiastic there's a need to have confidence there's a need to be proud of yourself as well i see i see that being being proud of yourself there you should be proud of yourself somebody needs to hear that because the, the star card is there's nothing to be ashamed of this, the queen of wands is about pride and so isn't the, the strength card so there's something about pride, but in this, in this sense, I feel like it's good. I feel like you should be proud of all that you have overcome. I feel like we have somebody here that is vibrating on a very high level. They are looking very good. They should be seeing an increase of their health. They have a lot to be proud of. They, don't, they should not be ashamed. There could be a newfound um, strength. It could be inner strength with the strength card. Somebody finds their strength maybe to control themselves because uh, the Queen of Wands does, is able to control control themselves, con you know? And the Strength card is about control as well. So somebody may need to restrain, okay? This card is a card of restraint. To have happiness, you may need to restrain yourself and hold your head up high. Whatever experiences that you are carrying have brought you to this place, now you need to let go of that baggage and move forward because there's an opportunity for extreme happiness here. But this is have no fear, have, have absolutely no fear at all. This is a card of strength and confidence and willpower and courage and mastering emotions. I do feel like this is going to be a time where somebody needs to restrain themselves, control, maybe, contr maybe control their temper, definitely, um, because the, well, the Queen of Wands can get hot, okay? You see that fire? Somebody could get hot. Okay, they could get, you know, something, you can look at hot however way you want to look at it. I mean, we could go, there's a lot of different definitions of hot that people use these days, okay? So somebody could get hot over a situation. Um, but I do believe that somebody is going to need to find their strength and their courage and their confidence and their willpower to hold their head up high, you know, and restrain themselves in some way. There's an opera. This is definitely going to be, I feel like there's some sort of happiness here. There could also be a relationship that needs to be let go because it's too much. And, and maybe that's what brings the happiness because wish fulfillment comes after the completion with these two tens. So we could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that needs to let go of somebody or let go of a burden or let go of some baggage to have wish fulfillment. Um... And it's going to be, you need to replace that fear with faith to do so. It's going to take strength and willpower and discipline, you know. Somebody needs to find their discipline with the strength card to refrain. And, I, and there's also been some fear here, you know. You need to let go of your fear and move forward in confidence, right? Everything happens for the re a reason because the star is a card of reason and protection, okay. So if something has ended which or it is ending with these tents because they are endings whether I don't care if you like it or not um, if it's ending it's ending for a reason because the reason is right in the middle we have a blessing in disguise here that is more 
fertile, put it that way. There's, it's more exciting. It's more um, passionate, okay? There could, there's, there's something happening here. I just hit my elbow. There is something happening here that is very, very passionate, okay? Um, let's get the rest. These cards fell on the floor, so I'm just going to pull them out. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Now we got three tens. Completion, completion, completion. May have something to do with a family situation or, or relationship, any type of relationship. Now the Ten of Pentacles reverse is total ruin. It is total loss. It is um, false impressions. It is debt. Somebody may be in debt. They uh, may have moved into a situation that they can't pay for. It's not abundant anymore. This could be the end of a legacy. It could be a change in a living situation. We have somebody here that may have married for money or they got into a relationship for money and it has been bogging them down. They have been held back because they don't have the uh, the financial strength or the financial courage or whatever it is to break free and let it go. I feel like we, with these tens, there's going to be an ending, okay? There's going to be a completion, but look at this as a blessing in disguise because it leads to wish fulfillment. There's protection here with the star card. And there is somebody here that is very, very, is going to be finding their courage to take action by the looks of things. Let's get the rest of these cards. The tower. The tower is a permanent loss in reverse. It's unavoidable. It's been avoidable up until now. There could be a fight. There could be an argument that causes somebody to leave. It could be very, very suddenly. It could be. We definitely have a major disruption probably on the home front. It could also be internal. Um, this is a necessary change of residence maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, something is going on here. Uh, the tower reverse that is a false sense of security coming to a crash coming coming down the, the, this is the truth coming out light being shed painful painful change this is a painful change massive disruption argument fight uh, fight with a family member home front relationship partner uh, we definitely have a foundation that is crumbling it, or something like that it's not stable it's not secure it's a mess it's a it's definitely a mess. So we have a messy situation here um, that needs to be cleaned up. Anyhow, um, Ten of Pentacles reversed is bad decisions. It's bad financial decisions. Bad. Uh, it's an unstable home or business life. Again, with the tower reversed right, right next to it. We have somebody here that is in an unstable situation. They may not be able to afford it even. Or... They can't afford to leave. That's why they're staying there. There's going to be a major fight. There, There is going to be a fight or a disruption. That force is a change because the tower is forced change. And it is unavoidable. It is. I don't even know where my rings are. Anyhow, they're somewhere. Anyhow, um, King of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles. This is holding on, holding on for money or holding on to something that is stable, solid, secure. This is all about stability, holding on because it's safe, because it's something to hold on to. But it's very unstable. We have something that is very unstable. There's gonna there's stormy weather ahead that is gonna cause something to uh, I don't know if somebody's gonna get kicked out. Or they're going to be forced to leave or they're going to choose to leave or something like that um, this is holding on for for money reasons perhaps or just to, for security reasons this is somebody that is very greedy very selfish sometimes stubborn uh, holding on to something just for the financial reasons because it's safe it's something to hold on to And then we have the strength card. So the strength card is courage, it is confidence, it is willpower, it is discipline. Somebody, I this down, uh, it is discipline. It's discipline to find the courage and the confidence to uh, do something. You know, not have any fear. Somebody is going to be replacing their fear with faith in doing something doing something it's like they get this vision this is a visionary this is somebody who is finding their strength to do something they are 
It's, it's courageous. It's very, very brave. And it's going to cause a major uproar. And I don't know if it's, it's, it could be an uproar on the home front or something like that or the business or at work or something like that. We have, we have overwhelmed, this is too much, not trying to carry something that they shouldn't be carrying, doing all the work, uh, working hard, working hard, working hard because of that, that ten of wands, too many responsibilities, this is too much, somebody can't do it anymore, they can't do it, they may not even, they may not even have the money for it or something like that. Ten of pentacles reverse is total loss, it is a complete total loss. Um, bad decision. Somebody has made a bad decision, and I think it has to do with it. it's affecting the bank account as well. They may be staying because they don't have the money, or there could be fighting over money. The tower in the upright or reverse could definitely be a fight. It's an uproar. It's a disruption. Um, sudden. It's a very sudden change. It's a painful change. A major loss. We do have a major loss here, but we do have the star which comes after the tower. So there is. this is actually a blessing in disguise. There is going to be a major loss, unfortunately, but it's a blessing in disguise. And I hate to give you that message, but it leads to extreme happiness. So get prepared because you're not prepared for it. You're going to need to find your strength and your courage. Uh, to deal with this. This is whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger is you know We've all heard that one before right strength is the last card so strength somebody is going to be gaining strength They are they're gonna be they, they are They're gonna be finding their strength to refrain themselves or they're gonna need to or they're gonna find their strength to move forward in faith you know um, everything happens for a reason so anyhow I do believe that we do have a massive change here. It is extremely sudden. Um, somebody may be moving, okay, or they're leaving. Uh, they're leaving a business, or they're, leave, they're, they're uh, leaving a home. Uh, there's a loss of money here with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. That's a loss of stability. It is. And that's why they've been holding on for the stability of it. Somebody has been holding on to something because they needed the money or, or they didn't have a place to go or something like that. But there's going to be a change. And, and the King of Pentacles reverse again is a loss of money as well. Unstable. If you have somebody here that is unstable, they're not practical, they're insecure, they... This is somebody that does things that only cares about money, doesn't really care about a relationship, isn't really looking for a relationship, or doesn't put in enough effort to a relationship. All they do is focus on work, or they don't, or they're being taken advantage of. Sorry. The King of, the King of Pentacles reverse could be taken advantage of, could be being used for their money, you know? And they just don't have anything left to give. They don't, you know? Um, the King of Pentacles reversed, that is... Um, doesn't have a lot doesn't have what doesn't have a lot we have somebody here that doesn't have the money or they need the money or they, they can't take care of themselves or they're very very greedy it could go either way we definitely have some greed here we have somebody here that is greedy they are with the with the king of pentacles reversed and the four of pentacles reversed this is greedy you know we have somebody here that is greedy, and they're about to—they're about to experience some upheaval in their life because of their greed. Whether it's a male or a female, it doesn't matter. This could be anybody. We have somebody here that is very, very greedy. This person is also controlling. This person's about to get a rude awakening because it feels like something is about to crumble right in front of their eyes and it's going to force them to change maybe they need to find their strength to take care of themselves I feel like we have the end of a relationship here and I don't know who it's with could be with anybody I think that things change really really fast we we also could have a thief here somebody well, well when somebody is just in a relationship just for the money it is kinda like theft right I, I do feel like we have somebody here that is, is has been taken advantage of by an individual. That maybe this person has a really good body or they're really attractive, you know, and and that's why they've stayed as well, you know, for the for the uh, looks of it, you know. 
because there's false impressions with the tower here it's all and with the ten of pentacles reversed that is total that's 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 total false impressions we have somebody here that you know the outside may look good but the inside is really not it, the, the inside is very um disruptive okay the inside is a mess okay the outside looks good but the inside is a mess okay so i feel like i feel like things are, are gonna heat up okay i think things are gonna heat up i think we have somebody here that is uh holding on to some sort of burden or baggage that they need to let go of <clears throat> they haven't been very practical they haven't been grounded they haven't been realistic it was stable it was something to hold on to and they're going to be finding some sort of courage to let it go because the universe is going to cause an uproar so yeah talk to you tomorrow good luck